Hi everyone, my name's Liz Hardy, I'm the Senior Admissions Officer at Alliance Manchester Business School. So my number one top tip would be to apply as early as possible. We receive around 12,000 applications every year, so it's very competitive. Okay, so my second tip would be to have all of your application documents ready at the point of application. So from you, we would need you to obviously complete the online application form, submit your academic transcript, a statement of purpose, and also your English language test. You can find out the English language and academic requirements online on the website. But if your English language test isn't ready and you haven't sat it at the point of making your application, still apply anyway so your application is in the system and we can review the rest of your documents. And as soon as you've taken your IELTS test or equivalent, um, you can send this in again by email at a later date. So top tip number three, um, as I said before, you can review the academic and English language requirements on our website. Um, and as it states on there, we do look for a 2-1 or first class equivalent degree. If you do have slightly lower than this and you don't meet our minimum requirement, we may ask you to submit your first semester grades at a later date so we can re-review your application. But in the meantime, I would still advise you to apply so your application is in the system. Our admissions team can review the rest of your documentation. And obviously, if we need anything further from you or we want to wait for some extra marks, um, we will let you know. So tip number four, when you're submitting your statement of purpose, um, we would ask you to make this just one side of A4. There is guidance on the website about what we would want you to write within it. So just a bit about your background, why you want to study your chosen programme and ultimately why you want to come and study in Manchester at the Business School. Tip number five, once you've got all your application documents together and you've completed your online application form, is just to pre-feed your application before you submit it. Top tip number six, we do have a small number of scholarships to award across each of our programmes. Um, obviously these are very competitive, we only have a small number to award and they are partial scholarships. So it's just to make sure that you do actually have full funding in place for your programme. Um, and if you are successfully selected for a scholarship, we will email you to communicate that with you. And tip number seven, when you're submitting your application, if you find that your to-do list isn't always up to date, it doesn't necessarily mean that we haven't got all the documentation that we need. If there is anything further we need from you, the admissions team will contact you by email to request this. So we really look forward to receiving an application from you and good luck. <laughs>